Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to do a layout setup for our Next.js project, right? So let's uh, let's go and see. This is our theme, right? And we are gonna pick some part of this theme, right? For example, we are gonna pick this header uh, in this case. So here we will simply go and click on this view page source and here you're gonna see all the source codes available over here, right? So what I'm gonna pick uh, from this uh, head tag, there are description, lots of stuff. We will do that thing later, but the important things required for this project is uh, this container, right? Inside this container, we have this header and let's copy this one, okay? Copy and we will paste this inside our layout. So let's remove this div. We are going to use fragment instead of div because that's uh, we don't need any unnecessary divs over here. So let's go and, and paste over here. Let's close your uh, existing div, okay? what we have to do we have to do some changes like uh, now we have to do some changes this class is not react standard we have to change this name okay no more classes so let's say class and name class name so this is a standard and what else we have over here looks like uh, nothing looks everything fine there is no uh, single tab right so let's save this and let's go and check this thing. So here we are and we got this subscribe, large and this so search and sign up. But we don't have a style, right? So let's copy the style also. But before that, we have to copy the fonts and the bootstrap CSS, right? So let's go and first let's copy the bootstrap CSS and here it is. Where is bootstrap? Yep, yeah, here it is busha min.css. So if you click on this, and here it is busha min.css, and let's copy this. Okay. Copy. And here we're gonna write, we're gonna use a head tag, head tag from the especially created from the next. So that is head from and here's the next. Here we can place our head tag attributes like uh, meta tags or title and everything, right? So here we're gonna say head, and within this head, we'll create a link or let's simply paste the link. And this is a, not a valid comment for a uh, React application. Now, this is Bootstrap CSS, and here we are, uh, we can see an error. It's because link is a self closing tag in React, so we'll here add a property. Now this is an incomplete path, so we'll go and copy from here and paste here. Okay, now this is the busha main.css. Save this and now go and also pick some CSS like uh, required. So this is the CSS looks like required and we are going to copy this. Copy. And uh, here we are going to create a style property. So we'll say style and JSX. So this is our styling we have added. So these are the some styles like related to the placeholder image and all this stuff. And then we have this block CSS. Let's copy this. And this CSS is also required. So let's copy this blog CSS and you can paste inside the global css uh, because that is going to be used everywhere right global css and here we're going to say paste sorry i pick the wrong one copy and this is a global cell uh, available across our whole project okay save let's go and check this thing out and here we got uh, subscribe large and there's a search option and there's a sign up option looks like a little bit are different right so actual design yeah a bit of spacing or more so it's because of link we have right so let's go i guess let's see what's the reason index.js and okay let's go to the layout and we don't need this navigation anymore over here let's remove this and yeah that's fine mm. No, it's fine. It is looking exactly like what I am seeing over here, right? So this is totally fine. Only the font is uh, not pickable, right? So we can pick the font. Now let's go and see. 
what's the font here is the font the font is fonts.googleaps.com let's copy this copy and let's go to the layout and paste the font here okay and this is not a valid comment for react no it's fine also this is a self closing tag so you can remove this additional and just give a slash over here okay now let's see uh, the, there is a change yeah exactly similar what i'm expecting so this is our uh, home component and this is going to be available across our project now it's time to pick the uh, the login page right so let's close this stuff and uh, login page right uh, let's go back and here is our login page let's copy so this is a login page now go to the view page source and we're going to pick some stuff so we already have bootstrap main css in our header so we don't have to reuse this only this thing will be required uh, looks like specific to this sorry specific to this design right so we are going to copy this body uh, not body uh, just main text form sign copy and let's go and create a file folder or file whatever you feel comfortable so i'm going to create a folder because i might use uh, i might create some other uh, files related to the same right so we log in and here we are going to create a file index.js and say const login equals to props and then we'll do return and here dev and instead of div we'll simply say this right and here we've got some error so we have to fix that error so here we are saying this red it means this is a single uh, self-closing tag so we have to place slash input is also a self-closing tag slash input here also slash and here also and this is actually not required for our purpose so let's remove this okay now let's update the class because this is not the react standard let's say class name so now it's replaced with the class name and uh, this is the logo if you want you can place this logo and let's pick that logo also that's fine we are taking things so we should thankful of the bootstrap let's go and open image in new tab and here it is copy and paste over here okay save and let's go and check things out here say log in and the export default is not available right so export default login save yeah so it's coming fine uh it's looking fine but uh the we have to pick the specific css code related to this page right so we'll go over here and let's close this and and here you can see the sign in dot css so this one is required let's click on this and let's uh let's copy this or that's like um, copy simply from here copy and let's go to the global uh, css file style global css and here we're gonna say login css login css end okay cool save and let's see how it is looking so this is looking now like this but because of the css login page we mess up a few things like uh, we don't need this height 100 percent or html body code or this event right so let's go and check things here comment and this looks fine now okay so we have to shift this logo in the center and this tag that we can do later that is fine but we have to copy this uh, and create a sign up page also right so we go login it's uh, copy and inside the pages folder let's uh, paste and here we're going to give it give it a name sign up right index for cheers and here it is login sign up okay save 
let's see the sign up and let's replace the please uh, sign up okay so login you say sign up and here it is sign up working fine right now we want to place some headers like uh, login sign up so we can do the client side navigation right so let's uh, navigation over here and index.js file so I don't, uh, let's rename this to a uh, header, like rename header and let's give it a lowercase. As I told you, just keep things lowercase, but for this component, it is fine. Header and yeah, header index.js. Okay, it's updated all the places, index.js and here I say header, save this and here is our layout and this is the code for our header kind of like uh, let's post and uh, layout we are using navigation we are using here i guess We're not using anywhere else. Save all. This is fine. So we have just uh, replaced, uh, renamed this uh, navigation to header. Now it's index.js. And uh, here we are. Now let's pick this layout uh, header uh, styling. So here we're going to say this. Uh, actually, this one, right? So let's copy. Or cut from here and paste here. Okay. Uh, save this. Go to the layout and add the header. Okay. So we have header saved and everything as it is. No problem. You can even take this style and place in the header command because that this is related to that, right? Uh, see here and let's do the formatting. Save and this is still fine, no problem. Everything is working fine, nothing breaking. Okay, now we want to place sign up and sign in, right? So here we have sign up. Let's copy. And here we're gonna say sign in and let's import the link component. The link component is already here. Now let's go and wrap this and drag with link component and let's place this here. Let's take another link component. Over here. I'll place the href, href, and that is going to be uh, what is that page? Sign up, sign up slash, uh, and then href. That is going to be login. Okay, cool. Save. So here we have sign up, and then we have sign in. So it's you can see the change, right? Uh, sign up, sign in. Client side navigation, very, very smooth, right? No re rendering, no server side call, nothing happening. Now we have to give some spacing around this, okay? So here we are going to say class name. Uh, user login. Okay. Let's copy this. And here we're going to say login page here and margin from top and bottom zero, but from left, right, 10 pixel. So it is too much, right? Let's give it a five pixel. Okay, this looks fine. Sign in, sign up. Now we have styling as well. This is a subscribe. So here basically, the username will be there. On click of this large, we will navigate again. So large, here we'll have our news x news x and now let's use link tag to 
right? You want to say slash the home page. And let's close. Yeah, home page working fine. Sign in, sign up. Everything is fine, right? Post, sign up, pages. So here we're going to create a profile page also. We'll say file and let's create index.js. Always remember this should be in lowercase, otherwise, you will be in trouble in the end. Don't make this component uh, like camel case or upper case. Okay. Uh, whatever name you want, you can give over here. That is not a problem. So profile props. And here we'll say return div profile export default uh, profile save and here we go uh, inside uh, header in place of subscribe we'll say some username like uh, or let's come on let's wrap this thing Here we're gonna say extra uh, slash profile. Okay, let's click on this. You can see profile page is coming. So everything is fine. We are done with the setup of our layout. So now we are done with our layout setup. Okay, let's one thing left. Let's go to the sign up page. And it's not just and here we're gonna say style. Form sign in. Form sign. Let's go to the global CSS. And here you can see text align center. So now this text is in center logo. Please sign up. And this is also in the center. So now we are done with our layout setup. And we have seen different techniques, how to use CSS, how to use the style CSS component and everything. Hopefully you are going to like this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day.